there is a lot of work being done uh, in, in Kohanga Reo and through Kura Kaupapa Māori and language schools. But the, the language can't be sustained without New Zealanders uh, engaging with it. We all have to play our part in learning and sustaining the language. It can't just be left to Māori um, because there just aren't enough of us. <laughs> And New Zealand is working with the Māori Language Commission to uh, promote and encourage um, Te Reo Māori. Staff members who have been identified as Māori language speakers will be taken through an examination process and once they've just been certified as a Māori language speaker, they're honoured with this tohu. The tohu represents competence in Te Reo Māori. So if you see somebody wearing it, then you know that, that you can have a conversation with that person in Te Reo Māori. Obviously creating a symbol requires us to move into the world of the arts and uh, the people at the New Zealand Māori Arts and Crafts Institute are the experts. We were really lucky to be able to connect with the master carver, Clive Fugel. Between Design Works and Clive, they came up with a, a really relevant symbol in the waha, in the mouth, as the communicator for the Māori language. So the first stage of the design process is complete. Uh, we've got the final form and shape that we need for it. But now we'll be taking it back down to Rotorua to work with Stacey Gordine, who is the, the bone and stone carver down at the, uh, the Māori Arts and Crafts Institute. And he'll be applying the, the finer detail and, and finesse to the, to the design. The reference, I suppose, about the waha comes from the ability to speak, um, the ability to communicate. That place where we express our thoughts, our emotion, our history, and that's a part of our culture, a part of our manaakitanga, a part of our hospitality. Te Reo Māori is, is a taonga that needs acknowledgement, it needs uh, acceptance, it needs all those things. It's a language that can unlock a whole lot of things uh, about this country, uh, not only for the people that live here, but also for all the visitors that come here from other countries. I've flown in a, a few aircrafts recently and the vocabulary is increasing. Um, you've he you hear staff members saying, no my haere my kitahuna, welcome to Queenstown. Where even two years ago, you wouldn't hear that. Good morning everyone, my name is James Shaw, and service manager. There is the interest there to make sure that, you know, te Māori becomes a language for everyone. We're an international link for our customers to New Zealand as a destination. They, they begin their journey to Aotearoa once they step on board our aircraft. And so it's a great place for us to showcase and, and showcase our pride in the culture and the language. We're going to be really proud when our people do wear these tohu on board and people can see actually there are Māori language speakers on the national airline, which will just add value to us as a destination and add value to us as a nation going forward. The language is a key part of that. Uh, Acknowledgement of um, Māori values like kaitiakitanga and manakitanga are just simple things, but they add such a richness and depth to the experience that people have coming here. To embrace those things for us is, it's, it's good for business.